<laughs> All right, guys, welcome back. This is Eric here with Guitar Arsenal. Today, we're on a special field trip up here at Andrew's Amp Lab, Atlanta, Georgia. And we're up here hanging out with Jeff, and we're taking a look at some of his amplifiers that he makes here. Now, he's worked on a lot of our amps here. Uh, pretty much every amplifier that we've had on uh, the channel has been touched at one time or the other by Jeff and gone through and in a lot of cases uh, <laughs> repaired after my uh, attempted debauchery in every single uh, stretch of the imagination there. But the sonic bliss that we're hopefully listening to uh, on all of our videos is definitely in part uh, to Jeff and his wizardry when it comes to how he's working on these amps. But this is his Spectroverb 18. Okay. Um, this amp is really neat and it kind of bridges a gap uh, between a couple of Fender amplifiers and, and in a way it's sort of like the Fender amp that almost should have been and never was, right? So you've got the size overall in terms of you know being able to tote it around uh, that's similar to a Princeton, right? Uh, so it's got the overall size of a Princeton but with a 12 inch speaker. So that's one way that it marries uh, the Princeton features. But that's sort of where the buck stops in a way. It's, it's more like a deluxe in terms of the headroom and the power. Uh, he has gone through and tweaked the circuit a bit to give it a much better bass response and to not get so flubby on the top end when it's cranked. Uh, so there's some things that he did to sort of refine the overall circuit. Uh, you have a push-pull bright switch, uh, volume, treble, mid-range. Now that's also something that was added. That's something you're not gonna see on a Fender amp of this type would be, you know, a mid-range control. So you have a middle, uh, which also adds a good bit of grind as you crank it. So you actually get some more gain when you push that mid-range up. You've got the bass control, and then instead of just a standard reverb control, you've got limit and mix to the reverb. So you can bring in as much reverb and you can kind of, you know, really have the exact characteristic that you want in the reverb profile instead of being stuck with just, it seems like a lot of Fender amps, you turn the reverb on and it just sounds like a hallway, you turn it off and it's nothing. And it's just sort of like that little sweet spot where it doesn't sound like you're you know, playing out a, a down a Las Vegas hallway, right? So this gives you the ability to kind of tailor that to your needs a bit, okay? All in one compact package. So it marries a lot of the things that people like about a Princeton but it addresses things that people don't like about the Princeton, such as the 10 inch speaker. A lot of people tend to really prefer a Princeton with a 12 inch speaker. You know, you can actually buy a cabinet and rehouse a Princeton into a, an amp that has a 12 inch speaker. This sort of already does that for you, but with the headroom and power of a deluxe. Okay, so really cool stuff. Let's just, um, I've got a Nobles Overdrive Special engaged there, and I do have a little splash of delay, but for the most part, that's straight amp, okay? Let's listen to the naked signal of the amp. We do have the reverb on the amplifier engaged. We are getting some hum in this room. You can hear, so I just want to make note of that, and that's fine. We've got 60 cycle hum from the guitar that we're using. And uh, let's just give this amp a listen. So it's very clean, very punchy, very articulate. Now we do have the amp on six, so it's, it's pretty loud. I mean, you would definitely be in the territory right now where you could keep up with a drummer, especially in a blues or a jazz situation. You know, heavy rock or something like that, obviously you'd, you'd want to get into some different territory. This probably wouldn't be the amp for you anyway in that particular situation, but for blues and jazz and funk and things where you need that clean uh, overhead and that nice punch, 
and articulation, um, it'll certainly do it. All right, we're going to continue going through the pickup selections. We're going to start manipulating the controls on the amplifier a little bit here. And this is 18 watts. So it's not quite as powerful as a deluxe reverb, but it's more power than a Fender Princeton. So it's sort of a lower power uh, deluxe is the best way to look at it. And another thing to mention is that this amplifier does not have a vibrato circuit. Uh, whereby a deluxe reverb does. Okay, so you don't have vibrato, but you get the little bit more functionality added to the reverb. So we're going to go into that a little bit here, and we'll play with the reverb and play with the controls. All right, I'm going to keep going through the pickup selections. Sorry, I talk as I go. I hope you guys understand. All right. <laughs> All right, so it's very warm and very punchy. You don't quite get the bass response and the, uh, the, a, the scooped mid-range that you would get out of like a big cabinet and like a, a super reverb or something like that, but it definitely gets that deluxe thing going on. And in a mix, I'm sure it would sound really, really nice as well, okay? We're gonna manipulate the amp a little bit here. And, um, and we are in a shop, guys, so you're gonna hear the phone, that's okay. All right, we're gonna push the bright switch. I'll tell you what, we're gonna leave it Engage. We're going to turn the amp up, Chad. I'm going to turn the treble down just a bit. Let's get that mid-range up so we get a bit of that growl. We are going to get some additional, uh, we will end up getting some additional gain by turning that mid-range up uh, all the way. Pretty good bit of the way up. Now we're getting out of traditional Fender territory. Uh, you know, the scooped mid-range characteristic that you would get out of a Deluxe. Uh, we're definitely out of that territory now, okay? We'll leave the bass about where it's at. Get that treble up just to scotch the bass. And I'll tell you what, we'll turn the reverb up a bit and kind of get a little bit of Las Vegas hallway going on here. All right, now this is going to be probably kind of loud. Let me, let me see how this sounds, and we'll go from there here. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> we got the amp cranked, okay, so it's, it's pretty loud, all right? <laughs> I, I turned on that uh, tremolo there just for a little bit of fun, the vibrato from the Strymon Flint. It's very touch sensitive when it, now it's loud as heck. It is shaking the walls. It is very, very loud in here. Um, I'm on the bridge pickup and I've got a good bit of that tone dished out, okay? And uh, man, it, it kind of sings along with you. It's very responsive at this, at this volume to touch uh, sensitive dynamics. Now you notice there, I did not dig in with a pick. I was just sort of playing around with some harmonics on the neck and some chords. To, and just having a little fun. 
I'm going to change to, I'm going to dig in with the pick and we're going to see how it responds to picking dynamics. This is going to probably crunch up a good bit and it's going to be louder. So let me uh, just try digging in on a couple of lines and hopefully not blow everybody's eardrums out. And I'll tell you what, I'm also going to hit uh, our um, germanium boost from Ren and Cuff here and we'll give that a listen. So uh, I know Chad's monitoring the sound just to make sure we don't blow the mic out or anything, but this time I'll dig in with a pick. I was just really trying to lay low and, and just kind of lay on those chords real soft to just see how the amp kind of responds. But this time I'll, I'll try digging in and uh, I know, you know, we'll see how this sounds. Hopefully we're not too brash here. I'm, I may have to back off on the mid-range because the mid-range does add some gain as well. Okay, so it's a very mid-range focus sound we've got right here. So, all right, hopefully this isn't too uh, in, insane territory here. We do have 60 cycle hum, the amp is cranked. Look at those sound. It's, uh, it's loud. <laughs> it's very, very loud in the room that we're in. I'm going to turn it down just for the sake of uh, not destroying ourselves here. Um, it's definitely, you know, comparing this to like a cranked deluxe reverb, I feel like a deluxe reverb on the top end definitely has um, a lot more, I guess, a, like a distorted kind of sound. Like, you know what I mean? A, a breakup, right? This amp retains articulation. Um, you know, even at a relatively high setting, okay? So I would imagine if you wanted to get a little bit more dirt and break up, you could either dig in really hard or just add a gain pedal on top. Now, we're really loud. I'm going to turn it back down to about five, halfway up, and we'll leave everything set the way it is. I'm going to leave that mid-range up, and let's give it a listen. I'll tell you what, we'll get even more reverb, and I'll, I'll just let you hear the extent of how crazy that reverb can get. This is about 75% of the way up. Let's just give that a quick listen and then we'll continue to manip manipulate the amp a bit. <laughs> So it can get a little crazy. Let's leave the limit up, turn the mix down, see how that sounds. Mid-range is really fun to have that control on this particular amplifier. So the reverb can get wherever you want it to be. I think it sounds great around two or three, you know, keep it kind of slap backish, real simple. We'll leave that mid-range uh, dialed up a bit. We'll stack some pedals on top. Let's listen to a germanium uh, boost. <laughs> All right, let me get on the treble pickup. Let's have a little fun with this. <laughs>
Let's hit the uh, nobles again. The treble pick up and give that a listen. And I'll give a little splash of delay in here. Give it a, give it a listen. This is the amp halfway up with that mid-range hump in there. Let's see if we get a little bit more overdrive out of it. Very nice, responds well to picking dynamics. Very clean. Um, you know, I think the only way you'd really get this thing to get super crazy would be if you were to obviously drop some type of distortion pedal or, or an overdrive on top and have it set to the silly mode. But I think where the Spectra Verb really shines is it's clean overhead and the mid-range thing is nice if you're looking for it. Um, the the push-pull pot to get into the bright territory is nice. One thing I didn't mention, it does have high and low inputs, so you can get even lower gain if you want. Uh, even on the high gain spectrum, no pun intended, you do have to hit the amp really hard to get it to break up, which is great. If you're looking for a clean platform for pedals or a good clean country tone or blues tone, it can definitely get you there. And that's what makes the Fender Deluxe Reverb such a famous amp and has been used in so many countless settings, not only on recordings, but live situations as well. It's the perfect club amplifier. And what Jeff was really trying to accomplish here with this was trying to get an amp that was portable and be able to move around really easy, but have the features of a deluxe reverb and with good overhead and not quite the volume of a deluxe reverb. So it's really the amp that never got made and Jeff decided to sort of make this his brainchild. So guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. We hope you enjoyed it. I know I played a long time. We were trying to give you some examples of how this amp can sound. I don't own these amps. We're only gonna be here this one time to demo them. Um, so I wanted to take the time to go through some sounds. So maybe if you're looking at one of these or if you're looking at having an amp built, this should give you hopefully a very indicative sound, which you can expect. I know this is just one guitar. Um, this is a Fender standard Stratocaster with a factory rosewood neck and custom shop Fat 50s pickups, okay? Um, very cool stuff. Guys, have a great day. We post every Monday and Friday here on Guitar Arsenal. Make sure you tune in, check out our videos, click that notification bell. Have yourselves a great day. I'm going to make a little bit more noise, let you guys get back to it. I'm going to be a rogue here and go on the middle pickup for the outro. Uh, middle pickup on the Strat don't get enough love, right? So we're going to give it a little love. We're going to leave the uh, nobles engaged and our delay and just try to get us a nice sparkly sound here for the outro. Y'all have a good one. We'll see you next time. Definitely want to thank the guys at Andrews here for letting us commandeer their facility and uh, fill the room with hopefully, hopefully decent noise. All right, here we go.